salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. She wants to talk about why black women 35 to 50 are single. I'm going to chip in here and there, but I'm going to let her tell it. Let's get right into the damn video. Hey, ladies. So we're going to get into it today, and we are going to talk about the real reason why so many black women are single. What is going on? What's happening? Why does it feel like so many women, especially between the ages of 35 and 50, are still single, still looking for their husband, never been married yet. And you may be saying, everyone around me looks like they have someone. What's going on? Or you may feel like, I'm seeing so many smart, successful black women not in relationships. What is happening? So I think there's a lot of things we're going to talk about. And in this video, I'm just going to be real. I'm just going to share what I'm seeing and how it is. I own a dating club and the truth is there is a higher percentage of women who are single than black men that are looking. And I think this is the first thing I want to talk about because I personally feel it's the one that's most prevalent in my mind. I do feel that for whatever reason, as black women, we have allowed black love to have a chokehold on us. Okay. We have really just been saying, I want black love and I need a black man. And the only type of situation I'm entering is with a black man. And when you look at the- That's a lie. Black women are not messing with black men this day and age. And it's totally fine. They want to divest, they can go ahead and do that. But what I've been noticing is that a lot of black women who have been divesting to go to the other side, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't really like they say it is. The Lady Queen of Kings is a prime example. She was making it seem like that white man came and scooped her off her feet. The whole while, she was paying for everything and she actually came and saved him. But she only wanted to make it seem like that so she could down the brothers. Now he's in jail. I don't think black men, I don't think black women are just wanting black love. And black love, in reality, it doesn't exist with black women. Look at Remy and Papoose. We thought that was black love and look where they're at. She cheated on him with a battle rapper after he waited for her, stuck around and did her bid with her while she, while she was in prison. Black love doesn't exist because of most black women. That's why. And because black women are breaking up the nuclear family. Now let's continue. The data, right, of available black men who are at the same level of black women. It doesn't compute. <laughs> it actually does not compute, right? For so many historical reasons. I think number one, if you just, let's like really go back right around the 50s and 60s, I feel like there was a campaign to start to separate the black family, right? Whether it was a civil rights movement, whether it was more and more black women having to take over the household, whether it's the drug situation that jailed so many men because I feel like black men are overcharged. So we have more and more black men entering the prison system. And then we have black men who are not at the same education level as far as outpacing black women. So all these factors are- Dear black women, stop with the black women are outpacing men in the education level. What? what how, how far is that getting you? Real talk, I, I wanna break this down. Women keep coming online, especially black women, talking about how black women are outpacing black men in education. But where is it getting you in reality? Because from the looks of it, it looks like it's keeping you in debt. It's getting you evicted and it's not getting you a job. I see a lot of videos with black women coming online talking about they can't get a job with their four to six year degree. They're in debt and they can't pay their bills. So they're getting evicted. Where is your education getting you in reality? Y'all can talk about getting being on a, on a higher education than men all you want. But the thing is, a lot of men are smart. They're starting their own business or they're getting trades and they're outpacing women in the job market. We don't care about the education. We don't because we know that these colleges, these degrees are a jux to keep you in bondage for real. And the reason why the freaking uh, the, the, the nuclear family was separated. It's not because women had to take over the household or men were getting locked up. It's because Uncle Sam provided you women with incentives to break up the nuclear family. And that's all around. That's why a lot of nuclear families don't exist right now. And women are pretty much single because they know they get an incentive from the government to keep black men out of the household. That's the real reason why, believe it or not. Are happening, right? 
And I just personally believe that we just have all these black women who are educated, running businesses. And the problem is they're all looking at the same 20% of men that are available. <laughs> Literally, that is what's happening. And I, like I said, for me, even in my dating club, what I'm seeing is that there is a plethora of men right in this group, but then everyone is looking for the same 20% of black men. And I think that's what's happening globally, right? I don't even think this is a US issue. I think this is happening in other parts of the world. And what I'm also noticing is that, for example, there was a TikToker I saw and you know she was getting attention of white men. And then, you know, she said, you know, I tried it a bit, but I realized like, I still want to be with a black man and that's fine. Like I'm not sitting here to judge you. It's, it's fine if that's what you want, but I don't understand this concept when there's not enough black men, <laughs> right? So it's okay to want what you want, but I also personally believe that when you as a black woman literally open up and say, look, I am open for love. I'm open to someone who's going to take care of me, who's going to cherish me, who's going to adore me, who's really going to pour into me, who's going to be a supportive partner versus race. I personally feel that you're just going to find more fulfillment in dating. And I know that was my situation, right? I personally was like, look, I am open to love and I'm open to the situation. And I got married at 34. And the interesting thing is I ended up marrying a black man, but I wasn't tied to that outcome, right? I literally let go of that outcome. I was like, I just want someone who's at my level or more, who's going to support me, who's going to adore me. That's what I was looking for. But I personally feel that for whatever reason, there's just too many black women that are vocally saying they have to be with a black man. They don't want other races for so many different reasons. And it's interesting because black men are not doing the same thing, right? So yeah, wow. because we're MGTOW and we know what's really going on with some black women. We know what they're actually coming online saying about black men. And that's why we are flying out or we're dealing with other races. Here's the problem with the black women though. You don't understand that for, for the most part, other races don't want you either. And I'm not going to sit up here and talk about it. If there's any other races of men that want to deal with black women, you could come online and tell us your experience with black women. And if you will date a black woman, are you looking for a black lady? Because we know the real reason why us black men, we've already been through it with the black women. And, I, and this doesn't apply to all the black women out there. So don't take offense to it. But to the black women that do take offense to it, take it with a grain of salt then. But other races don't want black women either, believe it or not. You're telling these black women to explore, but those other men, they're not dumb. They know what's going on with the black women in, in, the, in the Western world. They know what's going on with them and they don't want them either. It's not, it's not that just us black men don't want them. Other races of men don't want black women either, unfortunately, because of their attitude, their nature, their ways. That's why. While most black men will end up marrying a black woman, I'm not seeing the same outpouring from black men saying they have to be with a black woman. And in fact, when I talk to black men, even though their preference is black women, they are consistently saying nine times out of 10, I'm open to other things. I'm open to other situations, right? And ladies, let's be honest. Are black men protecting us at the same level other races? No, <laughs> no. Why should we protect black women? Dear black women, come online and give us black men a reason why we should protect you. When you don't want to cook for us, you don't want to clean for us, you don't want to pay for anything, we have to protect you for what? Dear black women that are watching me, just come out here and give me a reason why black men should protect you. The same women that lie on us, the same women that uh, break up the nuclear household because they're getting government incentives, the same black women who are getting pregnant by other men and then lying, telling that black man the baby is his and it's not his, but got him on child support. The same black women that are actually putting good fathers on child support when they take care of their kids. Why should we protect you? Get, just, just come in the comment section. Any black women out there that want to dare do it, come on, come on, come in the comment section and tell me why we should protect you. Tell us black men why we should protect Western women in 2024 and beyond. Tell me why, please. Maybe the ladies in the 60s and 50s and below deserve to get protected, but tell me why we should protect black women in 2024. This pool of black women in 2024 that come out here degrading themselves, tell me why we should protect them, please. They're not. 
They're not. Let's have that real honest conversation. I feel that, you know, black women are upholding black men to a certain standard and I'm not seeing the same for black men, right? I'm not seeing the same type of energy. So I personally feel that as a collective, if we let go of this outcome, I personally feel that we're going to find more success in dating, right? And I also feel that if we let go of black love, I don't, I don't know where black love starts. I don't know if it was a campaign. I don't know if it started with black women. I'm not really sure where this campaign came from. And like I said, I'm for it, but I'm also for the reality of things, <laughs> right? And I just personally feel that if we start to really just open up, I personally think we're gonna just have a different experience. And I think we're gonna see less and less, I think we're gonna see less black women in this predicament of being single, right? And also just one of preference, there's nothing wrong with being single. so being married is not the goal right it is part of life and if that's what you aspire to be you should get it but we're just literally talking about this situation right now because so many people literally ask why so many black women single. i think another reason why a lot of black women are single is because we were not socially programmed to put marriage first right so i think because of family dynamics again and i talked about this earlier where a lot of black women are growing up in single mother households you're used to seeing your mother being independent you're used to seeing your mother as the breadwinner and personally a lot of us might have been in situations where we were literally at the poverty line or below the poverty line so at the end of the day you're not thinking about marriage right you're not thinking about a partnership you're thinking about how do i survive and the way you think of surviving is through education and through education you say you're going to get a job and you're going to increase your you're going to increase your wealth right you're going to increase wealth coming back into the family so i personally feel that a lot of black women are told go to school get an education make your money be independent that is the way you're going to live your life and they're not told while you're in school and the interesting thing about college is that that is the time you're going to see the most amount of educated men around you right like literally everywhere you go everyone is getting an education we're not told that's the time to look that's the time to lock down a lot of times because we are positioned to get a first degree get a master's get an mba get a law degree go to medical school by the time we finish all these degrees we're in our mid-30s we're looking around and everybody's hooked up <laughs> versus i think other races of women specifically white women are programmed and socialized to start looking for a partner early, whether it's in through high school or specifically in college. And I can speak to this directly because I was on a cheerleading team with predominantly white women. I went to high school with predominantly white women. And when I think about after college and you know, I went on Facebook, all of them are married, right? Most of them met their husband in college. That was what they were programmed to do. Even more interestingly is one of my best friends, right? So she went to predominantly white school and I purposely think because she was seeing what was going on around her, she found her husband directly in college and before you know it, she moved on with her life, right? By the time she finished college, she was ready to go. And I think it's such a different experience versus me. I went to historically black college and all the women around me were like, I'm the first one to get educated in my family. I'm focused on getting my degree. I'm focused on getting- That was your downfall right there. Let me tell you something. This is just my opinion. You can have your own opinion out, out there, okay? But black people feel they have to go to these HBCUs to get a black experience or a black college experience. In life as a black person, you're already living the black experience, just being black alone. These HBCUs, for some of you, is going to be your downfall if you decide to go to college. Because HBCUs, from what I've seen, they're nothing but party schools. They're nothing, they're literally nothing. And I know every school can party, but they don't focus on education like that in my eyes. They focus on partying, uh, uh, going to these classics, these bands. They're, they're, they're focused on all the wrong things other than educating black people and putting them at the top. All you see when you see these HBCUs on social media, all you see them doing is partying and everybody acting like they're better than somebody else. That's all you see. When you see these other schools, they're, 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 they're partying a little, but they're not making it seem as if this is the key to this school. You're gonna come up here and be able to party with nothing but black people. 
Some black people don't even like being around that many black people at one time, but they feel as if they have to go to an HBCU to prove a point. And, and, it, and it doesn't prove a point at all. You just go up there, get your degree, you come out, and then you don't get a job. And that HBCU degree you got, it means nothing. Literally nothing. In my eyes, it's just home of the boules. That's it. There's no win in saying you went to an HBCU this day and age. Is there, There's no win in it at all, at least in my eyes. But y'all may have a different opinion. So if you do, let me know. I'm getting my job. And a lot of us came out of college without a man, without a husband, right? And if you're in the South, it's a little different because I do think that there's a little bit more socialization around making sure you get a husband in college but it's not the norm throughout, I think, the black woman experience. So I also think that is the challenge as well, is that so many of us are looking for our husbands way after school. And there's a little bit of, I think, controversy around this because I personally feel that I like that I'm married in my 30s because I feel like I know who I am. I understand myself. I'm very clear on my boundaries. I'm very clear on what brings me joy. And so my husband is adding to that joy. But the other side of it is that it's harder right? Because now I'm 36 and I'm now just looking at having a child, right? Much later in life. And I also feel like it's a risk because like I said before, there's less and less black men as you're getting older to a certain extent until I think you hit your fifties and then you're kind of dealing with this pool of black men who are divorced, right? Or in their forties, you're dealing with a pool of black men that might be divorced, but kind of in your thirties. nothing to do with divorce. You're dealing with a pool now of men that don't want you because you're 35 and up. That, why don't women admit it? It has nothing to do with this pool of black men that are locked up or don't have themselves together. These black men don't want women in their that's 35 and up because they know they're stuck in their ways. And they know that these women have already been conditioned to be feminist for the most part. That's why black men don't want women 35 plus. That's the truth. But they're not, these women like her aren't going to come out here and say that. They have to make it seem good. Stop lying. It has nothing to do with black men being locked up. Why you can't find it? Cut it out. It's this weird in between stage because you're essentially dealing with a lot of men that are locked up. <laughs> and again, here's the cycle. Because so many of us are like black love, it just shrinks our pool. So I think these are some of the reasons why so many black women are single. I think it's family dynamics. I think it's because of black love. I also think because we are not socialized to look for men um, during college. And unfortunately, by the time we start looking, it's a little bit later in life and there's a whole host of different challenges you're dealing with. I think there's a lot of reasons, but I think another thing that's important to share here about black women being single and why does it feel like so many of us are, the truth is 86% of women do get married, right? And about 76% of black men will marry a black woman. So I think that it seems like the internet makes it feel like everyone is single, every black woman is single and that there's no men around us. And I personally believe in abundance and I always tell women, as you go about your day, think of abundance, think that there's always someone there out there for you. And also I want to talk about the tropes because I also think there's these tropes of like black women have attitude. Even recently, a man was insinuating black women are violent and these are far from the truth, right? We are, a not, we are not a monolith. There's so many different types of black women. And I personally feel that we are beautiful. And I personally feel that we are positioned to be amazing partners for these men out here. So I personally want Let's you- Let's stop the damn video right there. How many of you out there believe, I'm just asking the men, I'm gonna ask you your opinion. How many of you believe what she just said, that black women for the most part aren't violent, Black women, for the most part, don't have an attitude. How many of you out there have, how many men out there, how many of you believe that? To the men that have dealt with black women, not all black women, I'm not going to say they're all like this, but have you ever encountered a black woman that you dated or have talked to before that didn't have an attitude and was a little bit violent? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.